Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm a marketer here at Gong and um, today I'm going to share with you three ways to use Gong to market to the right people at the right time and with the right message. Um, so these three workflows are really simple once you're set up with Gong. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is what I call the use their words workflow. And what basically this allows me to do is um, dig into calls and understand how your customers are talking about um, certain parts of their job that you're trying to help with. So I'll take a very simple example here. Uh, something that we help a lot of our customers with all the time is sales coaching. So I'll type in sales coaching here in the search bar. Um, I'll filter down to look only at mentions that are made to us by uh, customers on the call. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of, you know, try to identify interesting moments in conversation. Um, so let's take this for example. So here we're, we're talking about sales coaching uh, and the ability to make managers on a team more effective with how they spend that time th that they already allocate to coaching. So this to me, you know, is an, an indication that the question about coaching, at least in a sales leader's mind, is really about the ROI of coaching, understanding what that is, making sure that that time investment is actually, um, you know, paying off. Uh, and that's a huge indication for me, right, because it, it allows me to steer the messaging more onto those specific topics around coaching uh, and maybe leave others that I may have had in mind as a marketer to the side. Uh, because they're less important to our target audience. Um, another workflow that I want to show that's kind of closer to this one, um, and it's again, is just searching for certain terms and filtering only for words our prospects have said. And this is what I call identifying wow moments in conversation. Now, what this is going to allow me to do is really understand, you know, which parts of uh, specifically of product demos or, or these types of interactions are prospects kind of stopping and saying, wow, that's really cool. Um, I didn't know I was able to do this, but now with this product, I can. Again, I'm looking for kind of hints as to what is worth showing uh, so that I can spend more time on that and less time on the stuff that doesn't really matter, doesn't get people as excited. Um, so real quick, you know, just going through the calls here and, and looking for interesting moments um, let's stop onto this one, for example. Okay, so here we have something about, you know, a sales, a sales manager really liking the notifications that they get by email, mentioning to them that price uh, discounting was discussed on a call by one of their reps. Again, super valuable information. I can click in be ex at that exact moment and just kind of confirm in my mind, okay, so th this person here is a director of sales, so that makes a lot of sense. Obviously, their concern is going to be, you know, ACV, pricing integrity, uh, these types of things. And, and again, for me, this is like a huge source of possible topics uh, that I can explore, whether it's through content or just like, you know, uh, trying to get their attention on email, social, or others. Uh, but understanding already what are these things that are going to kind of get them fired up is super valuable. Um, and, and one particular example I want to show you guys here of, of how this was also used was uh, when we announced our Series D. So if you type into YouTube Gong Series D, it's the first result. It's this one here. Um, this is uh, a video that I made for our Series D announcement, and it's basically only using snippets with keywords such as the ones that I just typed in. You can go in and, and listen to it if uh, if that's interesting, just to kind of, again, explain the value or, or tease the value just by showing some of the reactions to the stuff that's shown on the screen. Um, so again, just trying to get a better understanding of, uh, you know, who we're marketing to and what's really going to land in terms of messaging um, when we when we do get their attention. And the last piece, and this is a, maybe a little bit more advanced workflow, uh, but it's all about who to market to and, and where this is really useful, at least for me, is in creating what I call uh, competitor buyback campaigns. Uh, so these are uh, campaigns that are designed specifically at you know bringing in accounts that are currently using a tool that, that's similar to yours, but that is a, a competitor. So the way that you can do this, for instance, is just by typing in 
you know the name of your competitor in here let's uh, let's assume for a minute that you know gong's competitor is zoom it isn't we we integrate with them uh, let's look at only mentions from our prospects and let's filter down a little bit deeper here and look at only close lost opportunities okay so here I have a complete record of calls that mention zoom and that ended up in close lost uh, what I'm then going to be able to do here is export this as a CSV and now I can cross cross reference this data with a lot of other sources uh, and get a pretty definitive list of accounts uh, that are competitor accounts now short of breaking into your competitors CRM and stealing an account list this is the next best thing um, and what this allows you to do and what I especially love is that it's going to give you an indication of when is the right time to reach out to them because once you start filtering down by date you can get an understanding of when their renewal is coming up so that you reach out say 11 months after that op opportunity was closed lost so that you can create a new opportunity uh, to sell to, into that account again and hopefully uh, get a win so this is going to be useful again like for just identifying which accounts when to reach out to them and then you know what um, what level of firepower you want to put behind is it ads is it SDR outreach is it an email campaign you name it um, so there you have it that's uh, the three workflows I wanted to share with you today if you want to you know if you have any questions about any of these you can reach out to me on LinkedIn that's me Jonathan Costet uh, C-O-S-T-E-T. -E I'm the only one on LinkedIn, so you could find me easily. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hearing back from you.